Hello and welcome to Teach Me English. This is your host, Mohammed Sanaul Ansari. And I have been teaching you The Tempest, a drama by William Shakespeare. This Tempest, this is a drama which is included in IAS syllabus for class 11 and 12. I have till now posted three videos on this uh, Tempest. Act 1, Scene 1. One video on that. Another explanation on the significance of Act 1, Scene 1. And the third video is itself on Act 1, Scene 2, a part of it. So, in that part, we have seen about uh, Prospero's early life and the life now. What happened to him? How he came to this place? We even uh, in that video, if you would see in that video, you will see we are introduced with the life of um, Miranda. We were introduced about Miranda, how she feels about seeing the tempest. So, in that video, we come to know a bit about Miranda's character, even. So, but this video, which we're going to start now, this video is going to be on Ariel. Who is Ariel? Ariel is a name. When I have explained you about the characters, at that time I explained even my first video. So Ariel is a name. Name means a spirit of air. It is not a human being. It is a spirit, a name. And in this video, we would discuss about him only. We shall see his caliber and his skill in this video. Okay. Now before I proceed, I would request my viewers to subscribe my channel like my videos and comment also. Your comment is very, very important for any of the video maker or any person who is uploading the video in, on any platform. Comment is very important. It boosts us. It gives us impetus to do more, more and more for the viewers. Now let us start this video with Prospero. Before this, um, Prospero told Miranda about Gonzalo and she desired at the time to meet Gonzalo. Till there we stop. Now Prospero. Now I arise. So means he stood. First he was sitting and he was talking to his daughter. He explained all the plight, all the condition they faced. And now he said, now I arise. Put on his robe again. Because we have seen already that he opened his robe, his that magical cloth. And then he started talking to his daughter. He explained everything about his previous life and how they came to the island. Put on his robe again because he is on his verge of finishing that whole tempest and his magic. Sit still. This, this, this is what he has told to his daughter. Sit still. Don't move. And don't worry. Hear the last of our sea sorrow. Last means ain't of our see sorrow too many i told you what the first meaning is that sorrow of our um, end of our sorrow what we have suffered so huge so great 12 years of pain and grief what we have suffered being in the island so this is the end of that sorrow or the other must be the tempest which he had raised he said is the end of the tempest or it could be the both meaning he has spoken in ambiguity two meanings are definitely literally two meetings are here now here in this island we arrived I, and here have i thy schoolmaster 12 years back they arrived in the island and 12 years they survived in the island so, so he said that we arrived here and for uh, 12 year his father means prospero was himself her master because no one else was there made the more profit profit means here educated means I gave you more knowledge than other princes can means the, those princes those who are in their palaces in their castles they may not get as much knowledge as I have given to you that have more time for vainer others those princes those who live in palaces they waste their time more time for vainer others means they spend their time in useless thing and tutors not so careful and two meanings again 
tutors, they're also not so careful. And even those princes, they don't care about their tutors. Miranda, heavens, thank you for it. And now I pray you, sir. He said, always you know that she always uses the word heavens. So it's a great thing she means to say that I thank you and God even for this thing. I pray you, sir, for still this is beating in my mind. What? Your reason for raising the sea storm. Now, please tell me, okay, you have told me all the stories that you were um, betrayed by your brother. Now, tell me, why did you raise the storm? Who these people are? So, what is the relation between your story and this tempest? This is, I'm not understanding something. Let me understand. Prospero, no, thus far forth. Okay, now. You won't, you didn't have to know. You want to know? Okay, let me explain you more. By accident, more strange, bountiful fortune. He said, that's what happened. This temple is talking about. By accident, most strange means, accident means here that uh, opportunity. By accident, most strange means I got a strange opportunity, bountiful fortune. That's why F capital means that is God of fortune. Bountiful fortune means the goddess of fortune is very much gracious on me, is very much helpful for me. That's that he means to say. Now, my dear lady, means to his daughter, hath mine enemies brought to this show? He said, The goddess of fortune, uh, she is so much gracious that she has planned in such a way that my enemies brought to this shore, means in this in the ship. Those who are there, they are my enemies. And by my prescience, prescience means knowledge of future. And by my prescience, I find my zenith. Zenith means the highest position. Now here it means the greatest position, the greatest opportunity of his life does depend upon a most auspicious star. Oh, definitely we all know, since we are living in India, all people in India, we all believe in stars and astrology okay we believe that when we born so certain star we find about our head and our life depends on the star the movement of the star governs our life similarly he has used with the same meaning now so i find my zenith thought depend upon a most special star whose influence if now i count not but for me so he means to say that according to my knowledge i come to know that my star is shining brightly means I got a when we say that my star is shining brightly I'm going to get a uh, prosperous days ahead that he means to say and whose influence if now I quote not if I don't take the advantage of that star but omit and don't care about it my fortunes will ever after do what happened? My fortune will never come to help me and I would never su su get success. I would definitely get further in my life. That he meant to say. Or he means to say that this is the greatest opportunity which I have got in my life to take revenge or to teach lesson to my enemies. So I would definitely not lose it. Here sees more questions. So no, don't ask any question. Thou art inclined to sleep, my daughter. Now you must sleep now. This is a good dullness. See, you are feeling yourself. You are getting dullness in your body. Means you are feeling sleepy. And give it away. Means surrender yourself to this dullness, to this sleepness. I know thou canst not choose. I know you cannot choose anything, but you have to sleep. Miranda sleeps. Now, as, as she sleeps, come away, servant. Come, I'm ready now. Approach my Ariel come now. He, he asked Ariel to come and I have already told you who is Ariel Ariel is a spirit of the air. Okay, come away. Come on servant Ariel only Prospero can see Ariel no one else not even Miranda Remember not even other character like Caliban. No one else can see only Prospero can see Ariel So I'm ready now. Come on. I want to talk to you. Come approach my Ariel Come. So here we can see Prospero has great love toward Ariel but because Ariel performs all his tasks, good or bad, every task. Ariel, all hell, great master. 
हेल्थ वेन वी से वेन वी गिव सम वन मैं इन हिंदी भी कॉल जय हो दैट्स वॉट कॉल ऑल हेल्थ ग्रेट मास्टर ग्रेव सर ग्रेव मीन्स रेस्पेक्टेड सर हेल्थ I come to answer thy best pleasure. Okay, I come here since you call me. I come here to give the answer and please you. Be to the fly to swim to dive into the fire to ride on the curl clouds. He said, if I would be flying, if I would be swimming, if I would be diving into what fire, or if I would be riding on the curled cloud on the cloud air water anywhere i come i would come from there to please you to thy strong bidding means to your command bidding means to command task whatever the task you have given or you want to give me i come from whatever the place i might be aerial and all is quality for you prospero has thou a spirit performed to the point the tempest that i bade thee prosper asked him so have you done have you done everything a spirit means aerial have you done a spirit means aerial perform to the point means whatever the description i gave you have you done the tempest in that way so now one thing revealed here this tempest which was disturbing miranda a lot and in the tempest the noble people like alonso gonzalo antonio they were all means they did not die definitely but they were also in trouble they were in trouble okay they were about to be drawn so this tempest was an artificial tempest it was raised by the magical power of prospero and ariel so this what uh, this is what revealed here ariel to every article means said whatever you have said i have not missed a single word of it i boarded the king's ship first i entered into the ship nobody could nobody nobody had seen me first i entered the ship now on the beak beak you can see in this picture what is beak here the front part of the ship now in the west means the middle part of the ship the deck as the middle part of the deck in every cabin means in all the rooms which are available in the ship i flamed amazement means i burned there with great amazement of the people there how it happened sometimes i would divide means the fire would divide and burn in many places means as a whole i caught the whole of the ship together on the top mast the picture is there you can see top mast what is top on the top mast the yards as you can see the picture the yard these are, these, uh, these are the crossbars and these are required to attach or keep the sail poor spirit what is this poor spirit uh, as you can see uh, uh, what uh, a thin pole is there and this is also used for attaching that uh, sail would i flame distinctly means different places i flamed means the fire was burning differently then meet and join okay first i divided and move to all the places and again i meet all this thing means that i completely started devouring the whole of the ship jove's lightning as you all know very well jove is also called jupiter jupiter is the greatest of all roman gods according to roman mythology now jove and jove has the power of lightning okay so jove's lightning the precursors precursors means the knowledge of something before it's happening it may, he means to say that if you must have seen the lightning or the thunderbolt the effect of it so you imagine about my uh, lightning and thunderbolt how i had been uh, rained as a fire on them on of the dreadful thunder claps in this of the dreadful thunder claps he means to say about himself and what he must have done how he must have been on the ship like the thunderbolt like the lightning 
सो ही मीन टू से जोव लाइटनिंग द प्रिकर्स ऑफ द ड्रीटफुल थर्न द क्लब्स जोव लाइटनिंग विच यू हैव सीन सो बाई सींग दैट यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड एंड हाउ डेंजरस आई वुड बी ऑन देम एंड आई फेल ऑन देम एज फायर मोमेंट्री एंड साइट आउट रनिंग वर नॉट मोमेंट्री मीन सडन मो सडन साइट आउट रनिंग मीन्स स्टार्टलिंग सरप्राइज सो ही मीन टू से दैट जोव लाइटनिंग वुड नॉट बी एज सडन एज स्टार्टलिंग और सरप्राइजिंग एज आई हैड डन दैट्स फोर लाइन मीन्स The fire and cracks everywhere. Fire. The ship starts cracking. Of sulphurous roaring. Sulphurous means sulphur. You all know very well a chemical. Sulphur. When it mixes with oxygen, it burns. So that sulphur he has used there uh, to burn the ship. Of sulphurous roaring means everywhere there 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 is sound of uh, fire. The most mighty Neptune. seem to besiege as the tempest was there and fire everywhere so the people in the ship must have understood or thought that mighty neptune who is neptune the god of sea the god of sea so it seemed like the neptune has come out and he was in anger he has used his trident as you can see the picture of trident trident to kill or destroy the ship seem to besiege means seem to attack and make his bold wave tremble bold wave means the wave in the sea okay it was trembling e his reed tree and shake the, he said the way i brought the tempest the treden treden is actually the uh, symbol of neptune's power and you can see this picture of trident okay this is actually the instrument of power for um, uh, neptune so he said that the tempest was so intense so heavy which i brought that even the trident of uh, neptune was shaken so he uh, uh, the from here from jove to shake the conclusion is that that his his lightning or the fire which he has brought was more intense and the wave which he had brought was more intense than jove and neptune simple meaning this is prosper my brave spirit brave means noble who was so firm and so constant me both the words have same meaning that is there is no one in the world who could not be shaken by all this thing which you have done by this that this toil when this troublesome thing had not shaken those people there is no one like this that this toil would not infect his reason means after seeing such a huge tempest there there is no one who would not be infected means would not be affected by affected his reason that would not be disturbed and affected there is no one like this every who would be there would be disturbed and would be affected by this uh, tempest which you have brought ariel not a soul sir all of the passenger in the ship they were all afraid but felt a fever of the mad fever of the mad means they started behaving like mad people and played played means here showed some tricks some tricks means here picking your behavior of desperation desperation means self destruction so those people in the ship they started behaving madly and the activities were such that they would destroy themselves all but mariners all means leaving the mariners and boson and captain all other people those were noble people like alonso antonio sebastian uh, gonzalo ferdinand these people those people uh, these are all all plunged into the foaming brine brine means sea water foaming brine because in the, the pictures there is storm so must there must be foam so they all plunged they dived into the foaming brine means to save their life and quit the vessel they left the vessel then all 
a fire with me. Then the whole ship is covered with fire with me. The king's son, Ferdinand, we all know about him, with hair up starring, all his hair become straight. They're like reeds, not here, sir. It was looking like a reed. I'm under plant like from all the sides, it is stood up because of fear. Was the first man that leaped. Ferdinand was the first man to jump into the water, cried, Hell is empty, and all the devils are here. So, what did he say? Hell is empty. That's why the fire all around. And all people, we all are the hellish people. We all are devil. So, we all are here. Now, save your life and jump out of the ship. Prospero. Why? That's my spirit. But was not these nigh sure? You mean to say, yes, this is what you are, Ariel. But they tell me one thing that uh, Ferdinand, he jumped in the sea and other people were they near the shore. Otherwise, they would all die, Ariel. Close by my master. Definitely, they were close by the shore. I brought them near the shore, Prospero. But are they, Ariel, safe? Means, has anything happened to them? I hope nothing should happen to them. I mean to say, Ariel, not a hair perished. Not even a single hair of them would perish. I devised in such a way that nobody would be harmed. On their sustaining garments, not a blemish. Because the garment which they were wearing, not a single spot of a stain would be there. But fresher than before. Means, when they, before they come to this place, the condition of the cloth which they were wearing, now it become fresher than before after being washed. And as thou bedst me, as you have told me to do, in troops I have dispersed them. You told me to divide them in troops, in division, as we would also see that there were only three divisions. In one division, there would be Alonso, Antonio, Sebastian, Gonzalo, Adrian, and Ferdinand would be alone. Two more people would be there, Trincolo and Stefano. They are also in a different part of the island. So that's why he said, in troops, I have dispersed them, divided them about the isle. Means in the island, so I'll, in the island, I have divided them. The king's son have I landed him himself. King's son is alone. Means Ferdinand is alone. I have landed by himself means alone. Whom I left cooling of the air with sigh. Means whom I left at one part of the island to feel relief. In an odd angle of the aisle. Means in a different place where nobody could reach. Only we could see. And sitting his arms in the in this sad not. I mean, he wanted to show that he was sitting there in the sad feature with his arms like this. Not, I means with his arm like this, he was sitting there and not speaking anything because Ferdinand thought that his father died. Because of this, he was sad. Prospero, of the king's ship, the mariner, say, How thou hast disposed and all the rest of the fleet? Now tell me, you told about the king's ship. Okay, destroyed. If you told me that you have destroyed the ship, you burned the ship. What about the mariners? The other noble people, they came out of the ship. They quit the, they quit the ship because they jumped in the water and they saved their life. What about mariners? Say, so how thou hast disposed, how have you kept them? And all the rest of the fleet, I mean, it was only the one ship there. There was another ship also. It was attacked on a particular ship where all the important characters are there. So he asked the question, Ariel, safely in harbor, I kept the kingship, only kingship, is the kingship. Kingship is safely at the harbor, near the harbor, and nobody could see there. I have hidden it. In the deep nook, means in the deep corner, at a place where nobody could see, where once thou called me up at midnight to fetch dew from, they still vexed Bermudas. And Bermudas, you all know Bermuda Island. He said that once you remember, Master, at midnight, you sent me to Bermudas. You remember that? There I kept that vessel. Means that ship. 
So don't worry, nobody could reach there. There she is hid. There I have hidden. That is where. It's still vexed means that which is always in a stormy mood. Ramudas, where you always find a storm. The mariners all under hatches stood. Under, definitely below, hatches, deck. Means above where you stand on the sea, that is called deck, that floor. And down to that, uh, the place is called hatch here. So, mariners, they all are stored, means here sleeping. All the mariners are sleeping under the deck, means in the ship. And all safe and sound. Who with a charm joined to their suffer labor? This manner, they worked hard to save the life of everyone. So definitely they are tired, suffered labor. So their tiredness and my charm both joined together. My magical power both joined together. So they all slept. I have left asleep. And for the rest of the fleet you're talking about, sir, the other fleets which I dispersed, means which I sent them back, with, they all have met again and are upon the Mediterranean float. Other ships, two, three more ships were there. They all, they moved toward the Mediterranean Sea, bound sadly home for Naples. Bound means they were moving toward Naples and they were very much sad. Supposing that they saw the king's ship wreck, they, have, they had in their mind that they had seen their, the ship of their king was wrecked, destroyed. It means his, their king, their, uh, the heir to the king, means Ferdinand, Antonio uh, and Sebastian, they all died. They had this in their mind and they marched toward Naples. And his great person perished, means uh, they thought that the ship perished and with that those important person, they all peoples, they also perished in the ship. With this mentality they marched toward Naples and in Nepal this news would definitely soon flourish. Trospero, Ariel, thy charge exactly. You have performed everything perfectly as I told you is performed. But there is some more work, some more thing you have to do today and very important. What is the time of the day? Now tell me what's the time. So let me know because I have to do a lot of thing. Ariel, past the mid-season. Mid-season means midday. Means it crossed the midday, that is, which means we mean to say 12 noon or 12 o'clock. It passed 12 o'clock midday. Prospero, at least two glasses. This is a what called sandy hourglass. Have you heard the name? Sandy hourglass. This is what. So, two glasses means two hours. It means it is 2 pm. It is 2 pm. Because it is said past the mid season, past uh, midday, means that is noon time is crossed. So it is 2 p.m. now, means 2 glasses. The time twixt 6 and now, in between 6 p.m. and now 2 p.m., 4 hours of gap is there, must by us both be spent more precisely, more carefully, because we have to do a lot of things. Ariel, is there more toil? I mean, is there more work to do, more labor? Since thou dost give me pain, pain means labor, not that pain means trouble, pain means labor, work, hard work. Since thou dost give me pain, labor, means work, let me remember thee what thou hast promised. You have given me lot of works and I did all those. So let me remember you. Let me remind you one thing. What thou hast promised. You have promised me one thing which is not yet performed me. Till now you haven't fulfilled your promise. Prospero. How now, Moody? Means what is that? You're so moody. You change your mood so, so, uh, so fast. Tell me what... What is thou canst demand? Tell me your demand. Ariel, my liberty, my freedom. You told me you would free me. You told me that you would leave me to live my own life. Prospero, before the time be out, no more. Because the time hasn't come yet. Did the time come? I would definitely leave you. Don't speak about it anymore. Ariel, now Ariel is here become quite emotional. And he is trying to impose upon Prospero his importance, his hegemon. Now, I pray thee, I request, remember, I have done thee worthy services. Many great things I have done for you. Told thee no lies. Even I did not say lie to you. I always be truthful to you. Made thee no mistaking, served without or grudge or crumbling. Even I did not do any mistake. Whatever the work you have given, 
point by point I have done thing perfectly even without any grudge without any complain in my heart without any grumbling without using or saying any word to you I did all the work I gave my service to you and you promised me to give me liberty what about that thou did promise to bait me a full year you promised me that after the full year you would leave me you would allow me to leave my own life prospero does thou forget have you forgotten from what a torment i did free thee what torment a great torment you were in a great pain you were in and i freed you from there have you forgotten ariel no sir now ariel is now down to earth his tone decreases prospero thou dost now you are you told me such thing and thinks it must to treat the ooze of the salt deep you think you have done a great work thinks it much means great work to treat to walk the ooze that is soft mud and in the sea on the bed of the sea inside the sea soft mud you mean to say you walked on the soft mud of the sea of the salt deep means salt salty water deep here means ocean inside the ocean the uh, mud is or the land is definitely a muddy land the ma the land is soft so you think it was a great thing to walk on that soft soil soft mud in the sea to run upon the sharp wind of the north to do me business in the vein of the earth what do you think that walking in the sea or to uh, that is uh, running on the wind north wind which is uh, we we understand north wind how cold it is and running on the north wind and and doing my work inside the earth when it is backed with frost when it is hard back with frost when it is hard so do you think by doing all this thing you had done a great thing and you become great personality ariel i did not sir no i i never told this thing sir prospero thou lies you are a liar malignant malicious a person who has wrong thought in the heart has thou forgot the foul with psychorex i think you forgot about psychorex psychorex was a, a witch and she was the mother of caliban she was a powerful witch and to say and he said that i have to remind you about psychorex who with age and envy when she become old and with envy you know meaning of envy that is having grudge against someone having wrong thoughts about someone the whole character is an evil character was grown into a hoop she was banned she was so much aged that she, she was banned but she was powerful has thou forgot her so when you say have you, have you forgotten about her ariel no sir prospero thou hast yes you have forgotten if you would remember about psychorex you would not have told me such thing about this that i did not give you liberty and i am overusing you where was she born speak tell me from where did she come to this island tell me he said sir in asia asia means algeria algeria is a place in africa okay from there she came prospero oh was she so okay it means you remember about her i must once in a month recount what thou hast been i have to remember remind you once in a month at least that what thou has been who you were in past which thou forgetst means you have forgotten about yourself who you were i have to remind you every month this damned which damned means uh, someone who is uh, sinful that's what this damned with psychorex for mischiefs manifold she was not a good woman she was not a, she was definitely she was a witch and she uh, was known for her mischievous activity and manifold immense great and sorceries the black magic terrible to enter human hearing and then all this thing come to be known by the people of algeria from algeria I means she was from algeria thou knowest was banished 
ten people of of that place from the people of Algeria. They came to know about her and they banished her. Means they brought her to this island and left her in the island. For one thing, she did. They would not take her life. Means people were so angry. They banished her. They dr had driven her from their country and brought her and uh, put her in this island. They did not kill. That's what. For one thing, she did. They would not take her life. They did not kill her. There's one reason. The reason is not given here. The reason is actually she was pregnant at the time. She was pregnant at the time, so people did not kill her. They brought her and they put her in the island. Is she? Uh, is not this true? Tell me, Ariel. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. This is true and that person correct. Blue-eyed hag. Hag means old woman and she must be having blue eye. Was either brought with child. She was brought with child. Maybe uh, they find two meanings is here. She was brought with a child or she was brought with a child in her womb. Okay. So this is the reason. Whether she was brought with a child, that's Caliban, or she was about to give birth, so people did not kill her. And here was left by the sailors. They brought her and left her here in the island. Thou, my slave, you are my slave now, as thou reposed thyself, and as you say yourself that you are my slave, was then her servant. When I was not here, she was here. Before uh, Prospero came to the island, the island was governed and ruled by uh, uh, Cyclorax. Okay, when he came, he did not find her, but he got to know about her from area. Now, so he said, "Before you were her servant, and for thou was the spirit to delegate to act her earthy and abort command. And at that time, you were a delegate, means you were not in so great power to." Act her earthy. Earthy means evil and abode. Abode means headful command. She used to give you what evil and headful command to perform. Means all wrong activities she wanted you to do, and you could not do at that time because you were not because you are not a bad spirit. So you could not do wrong things. So when you refusing her grant. Hest, hence has been command. When you refuse her command, you remember this thing? She had given you one activity to do, one command, and you refused her. What she did to you? She did confine thee, and she had put you inside where? By help of her more potent ministers, I mean by the help of her uh, assistant, means the power which she got from devil, and in her most unmitigable rage unmitigable means which has no ending which increases which goes on okay so in her great rage anger she took the help from the devils and you put and she puts you into a cloven pine cloven means which is broken which is open and inside the pine tree she puts you inside and she closed it within which rift within which that place rift means uh, chasm, chasm means that is an opening. So within that pine tree, you were imprisoned. You were kept in jail. They were kept inside. Thou didst painfully remain. Painfully, you can understand. A dozen years, for twelve years, he was inside that pine tree and fine inside. It was done by Cyclorex. Why? Because uh, Ariel did not obey her did not fulfill her demand of some uh, wrong or maybe uh, some bad command she had given which, which he did not want to do. Within which space she died. Within that 12 years she died and left thee there. She forgot about you and she died and you were inside the cloven tree and you were inside the pine tree. No one was there to take you out from there. Where thou didst went thy groan where you used to cry out cry went cry out thy groan thy pain your pain as fast as mill wheels strike okay mill wheels you have seen the big big wheels okay it used to move and so your you your sound was and you were uh, feeling pain you were crying as fast as mill wheels strikes then was this island safe for the sun and she left her son here that she did litter here litter also means to what called to mess the place and litter also means you know that is the curb or young one of dog and 
animal. So see, he has compared Caliban with the young one of animal. So she left her young one means her son here, a freckle wealth. Wealth means a pup. And freckle means brown spot on the body. Okay, A freckle pup means well, hagborn. Hagborn means born of that old lady who is very much ugly means Cyclorex. Not honored with a human shape. He, is, he does not look like human at all. Because we shall see further that Caliban's body is half like a fish and half like a human being. So, Ariel. Yes, Caliban has said, yeah, Prospero, dull thing, useless, nonsense thing. I say so. He, that Caliban, whom now I keep in service. Yeah, he is also in my service, my servant. Thou best knowest what torment I did find thee. You know it very well. When you were in torture, in torment, at that time I came to the island and I found you out. Thy groan did make wolves howl. Your, your groan, your pain was so much, you, were, you, were, you used to cry so much that wolves, they feel pain for you and they howl. And penetrate the breast of ever angry bears. Bears we always compare with angriness. Hearing your groans, they started feeling pain for you. Bears, angry bears. It was a torment to lay upon the damned. This kind of torment which you are facing inside the uh, pine tree, the pain which you are facing, it was the same. It is the same torment who used to feel the damned. Those who, those who are sinful people, those who go to hell, they feel the torment. This type of which Cyclorex could not again do. This torment which she had. Uh, given to you, means kept you inside the tree and you were in pain for 12 years. Cyclorex had done that magic. She even could not undone it. He even could not have the power to take you out of it. It was I who had taken you out. It was my art, my power. When I arrived and heard thee, when I went there and heard you crying, that made gap and I opened that pine tree and let thee out and I have taken you out. Ariel, I thank thee master. I remember everything Prospero. If thou more murmurest, if you speak more about it, I will rent an oak, I will open an oak tree and pick thee, means fasten thee, tie thee, tie you in his naughty entrail. Naughty means which is a knot, entrail means uh, root. I will pick you, I will tie you with the roots down of that oak tree till thou hast howled away twelve winters. Twelve years you were inside the pine tree, more twelve years you would stay inside the oak tree. Twelve winter means twelve year. Ariel, pardon master, please forgive me. I will be correspondent to command. Whatever the command you would give, I would listen to it and do my spreading gently and I would with my full heart do the work. Prospero, do so. Yes, you have to do that. And after two days, I will discharge you. Okay, don't worry, I would definitely leave you. So we can see here the mood of Prospero since he is no more king and see, since age is telling upon because of which his mood is different. He gets angry frequently. Okay, when he finds that nobody is uh, obeying him since his uh, brother had betrayed him, so he got this mentality. If anybody is there who did not obey him, he get frustrated and he started uh, ordering the person, he started shouting at the person as he had done. But suddenly he calms down also when the person surrenders to him. Now, Prosper, Ariel. That's my noble master. That's my good master. What shall I do? Now please tell me what shall I do? What is my duty to do? Say what? What shall I do? He's very, now he's very much happy that two days more only for the liberty. He's very much happy. Prospero, go make thyself like a name of the sea. He is, uh, Ariel is, is uh, a name of the air. But he said you take the appearance of the name of the sea. Be subject to no sight. Let, remember, nobody must see you. But thine and mine, you will see me, I shall see you. Invisible to every eyeball. Remember, nobody could see you. Take this shape, means take the shape of name of uh, the sea and hither come in and then come here. Hence, with Delizen. Now, now you remove, you go and do the work which I told you and afterward you come. 
exit Ariel. Now, now here Prospero is talking to his daughter. Awake, dear heart. Now you get up. Why has he made her sleep? Because he had uh, this cousin. We had to do this cousin with uh, Ariel. That's why. Thou hast slept well. Awake. Now you have slept well and for a longer time. Get up now. So keep it here today. And hope you have understood this. Comment me and tell me. We would again meet with another video of the same scene. Further, we will see in the next video about Caliban and then about Ferdinand. Till then, I must take leave. Thank you very much.